Hey guys, Fuller again with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. We have another vehicle spotlight for you. This one's a little more mild. We have a 2012 uh, Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD on some 18x9s with some flares and some other stuff. Let's check it out. All right, so originally this customer came in here and he had a bigger lift kit on here. I believe it was a seven and a half inch rough country and he didn't want it to be quite so big. So what we did was uh, brought it to the shop here and we actually put a smaller lift kit in it. Uh, it now has the four and a half inch BDS. It also has the upgraded Fox shocks in here, the Fox 2.0s. You can see the new knuckles and stuff like that. So I brought the truck a little lower to the ground so it's not uh, quite so hard to get up into. But with this setup, for wheels and tires, now this truck isn't done yet, he's probably gonna switch out some stuff, but we just wanna show you the fitment of what is on here. So these are 18 by nine RBP 94Rs. Um, so not super aggressive. These are, I believe, a negative 12 offset. We'll take a look at the lip. There's not a ton on here, obviously being a nine weight, but you do still get, you know, if you went back to the edge of the spokes in here, you get that, that two inch, two and a quarter maybe. So you still have some lip on it at least. Uh, and then these are actually removable plastic inserts on the wheels, so you can pop those out if you wanted to change colors, uh, match them to the truck, or do anything else with them. This wheel is also available in, a, in an all-black finish, too. For tires, he's got the uh, Nitto Trail Grapplers, and these are 275-70 R18. So to fit these wheels on here, because they are kind of a less aggressive setup, he did have to add spacers in the front because it was hitting on the knuckles. So he's got uh, two inch spacers on the front to push those out a little bit. And you can see it does stick out past the bumper. You get that two, three inch uh, poke right there. And then the fender flares, these bushwhacker flares, do a nice job of kind of flushing that up. All right, so if we walk towards the back of the truck, then you can see he did add the locking gas cap uh, as well as he's got the flares in the rear too. Fitment wise on the back, don't run into any issues. He does also have the upgraded Fox shocks there. Uh, window tint match, probably about 20%. Tow mirrors obviously come factory on the 2500s. And that about wraps it up. Also has the windshield brought up top. But that's it. Make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. Peace.